headed over. We got a phone call in. Now this is an interesting one, guys. So the fellow called in from a rental agency out of Florida. He said that he had someone come in with a crazy driver's license. They rented this car and they are allegedly making their way to the Canada border with this car is what he's suspecting. So he gave us some GPS on it. It's been stationary for quite some time. So we're going to go over here and, and scoot into Pigeon Forge if we can make it through traffic in a timely manner, which will be the very key. Okay guys, we found the BMW. How can you, how can you do such a thing? And we told you that we have two, 10 weeks pop and we need to get back to Florida. So why would you do that? Okay guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. We just left what we thought was gonna be a tow, but turned into a, uh, we, we were able to do a tire repair. I guess I wanna start out by saying, uh, uh, give a huge shout out and thank you to all of our teachers throughout. You guys are amazing people, uh, special breed of people. Especially if you're trying to teach our younger generation, you know, sometimes that can be very, I could imagine at the end of the day, <laughs> <laughs> to have a classroom full of, but very rewarding, I, I would say. I, I would say it's probably a lot like our profession where you're, you're, you're teaching, you're teaching young minds. But uh, we got a, uh, we got a really cool meet up with Ruth and Jane uh, from here in, uh, in Gatlinburg. I think it's it's Ruth that was the uh, the teacher. Yes. Ruth, uh, thank you. She was a uh, Gatlinburg GP uh, school teacher. She says she watches our channel, and doesn't miss an episode. So Ruth, thank you. Jane, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm so happy we were able to get your tire repaired and didn't have to tow her all the way from Gatlinburg over to Walmart or Five Oaks or wherever could have done that repair. She just had a tiny little screw in her tire, so we were able to to get her fixed up, and that's pretty awesome. Uh, we, you know, we were we were talking to Ruth about how she said she's our biggest fan, and um, <laughs> you know, and she watches everything. That's that's just so over overwhelmingly cool, guys. And I, and I I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Uh, you know, just like I told Ruth and Jane both, it's 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 like having fifty thousand new friends um, and <laughs> growing. So very fortunate. I never thought in my lifetime I'd be fortunate enough to have so many friends and so many people that reach out but Ruth and Jane you are amazing you keep watching we'll keep filming I'm glad we got you fixed up with the flat tire change and you didn't have to endure the insane traffic of the fall season here in the Great Smoky Mountains uh, but we are headed over we got a phone call in now this is an interesting one guys so you're not going to want to miss out so Stay tuned, smash that subscribe button, like button, notifications. The fellow called in from a rental agency out of Florida, out of the state of Florida. He, all the way down in Miami. Said that he had someone come in with a crazy driver's license. It was a, uh, I can't even remember what he said. It was a foreign national, I can't remember which. Some. It was some driver's license that was, anyway, they rented this car and he is, they are allegedly making their way to the Canada border with this car is what he's suspecting so he gave us some GPS on it it's been stationary for quite some time so we're gonna go over here and, and scoot into Pigeon Forge if we can make it through traffic in a timely manner which will be the very key to this situation but we're gonna see if we can go over there and get this BMW X3 some little 2021 trip. and he said that he said they rented it I mean I guess if you could rent a a brand new BMW and scoot across the Canadian border with it, then maybe you just scored a, well, what are those things? $60,000? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming they're expensive. I just did hit, oh my goodness. I would like sick to my stomach just thinking about trying to do something like that. Yeah, it's very stressful. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll stop her. Maybe we'll stop her before she gets there. He's uh, like a lot of people. They want us to get the keys. Now I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get confrontational with with anybody. And you know, obviously they're gonna be upset that we're taking the car. So 90% of the time they're not just gonna voluntarily hand over the keys. But if you guys watch our channel, we did have one that we recovered that the keys were in the trunk under the spare tire. Mm -hmm. So you know that happens. We'll uh, I'll investigate after the fact. I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna get involved. But our main priority is to is to capture the car so stick around probably not going to want to miss out on that if if indeed it's still there if it's not there and we don't locate it then all of this was for nothing and i just blabbed about <laughs> <laughs> i 
I, it sounded cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but stick around, guys. Don't want to miss out. They're used to it. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, guys, we found the BMW. Are you just going to hook them up? Okay. Right here. You can't steal a BMW. Well, we'll find it, I promise. <laughs> what is it, a repo? Yeah, stolen. You gotta make it a no, it's a rental. Oh, it? A rental, and they just took off with it. Oh. It's supposed to be in Miami, Florida. Come on, it's a <laughs> Ding there. She must be in there somewhere. No, yeah. so, wait a minute. I've been here less than two hours. Two really? Hours. Yeah, because I was parked right there before we went out to eat. Well, well maybe she'll come out and I'll take her See Do you want to double check and make sure that it is rear wheel drive? Yeah, I'll make sure. Okay. Is it? Y'all got to notify them that y'all go together? Yeah, we're taking, we're going to call the police. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. She knows that she's not supposed to have it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good to go? Yeah, it's just front wheel. Alright. We'll give her time to come running anyway. Oh, Lord. It's all locked. It's locked? Yeah. Want me to watch, see if the wheels are going to turn? Yeah. Okay. Just watch that white car beside you. Are they going to turn? You too. They're turned slightly. Do you see? They've turned slightly. Oh, slightly more. So he wanted the key, but we did not get the key because we did not see her or anyone else. Anyone else. But yeah, it's always definitely helpful, especially moving it around and we got the steering wheel that's Anyway, we're off to impound with this one, and unfortunately, that leaves our YouTube people without a uh, ending story other than this ending story. So yeah. This is how we end it. The vehicle's going to go back to Miami, to its rightful rental company, and uh, she's going to have to figure out how to finish her George journey to Canada. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. It's waving. There's a car right there. She's right here, Jeff. She's running. Do you... They say your keys in. I'm just going to pull up here. rental company you rented it from out of Miami, Florida. Yeah, but they know that I'm supposed to return it on the 23rd. They reported it stolen, ma'am. That's wrong. I was talking with them today. Evidently not, because they just they just sent us the report to recover it. That's complete bull****. Want me calling? Uh, I know, it's not your fault. It's not your mistake. It's theirs. But because we have been talking with them about it, so if you will have to take it, I have to take my stuff. Yeah, I'll just, as long as you've got the key, do you have, I, the, do you have the key? It's my car. Of course I have the key. Okay. 
I have been talking with him today regarding this, so okay. I don't know why would she just send it without notifying me. And he told her that this is my way to go back home, which I live in Miami, and she knows that. Well, no. But they're just being Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We're talking with her today. So she was not supposed to take the car, and she knows that. Yeah, that's it. We're going we back told, and we're talking. They reported it stolen. So that's wrong. They didn't do that. They She's didn't just saying it. that it's not. Reported. They didn't report it stolen. Well, She's they just, they own it, so they have the right to. They I have know, the right but to. But we have a contract that. with them, and we have communications with them. So why did you leave Miami with it? They know that we're leaving Miami. They know Miami that we're coming here. They knew that. Yes, you of course. I can show you all the communications in my phone right now. Yeah, get, get him on the phone just to make sure. That's unbelievable. Yeah, of course they know that we are taking yeah. it out we'll of Miami. We'll I requested this car specifically and I got a new one with she a new tried to, She tried to, tried to intimidate us today. Okay. She tried to intimidate us. Today? Yeah, yeah today. Just this morning. This morning. Okay. Hello? Hi, this is Chris. If I need you to hear the voicemail. Um, she has the voicemail today. We have the voicemail. ETA. Yeah, and I have an ETA. We did have an ETA this morning. So I responded to that. That's why the people are here and they say that because we're supposed to leave in the morning. We're supposed to have a car on our way. No, 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 they're not. It's overdue. She's trying to convince the people to come back on the 23rd, and six rental cars said absolutely not. So tell her sorry, so sad, and the car's going no matter what. Okay. Yeah. Because they, they, she, she can call six corporate to deal with them, but six corporate security says they need the car back and they were not going to wait for her what? until the 23rd so because the car is overdue. Right, so why did you ask us for an ATA? Yeah, why they called us and asked Why did you ask for an ATA? I don't know. Before this, they this is do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we will... Uh, right. we will, right. we will just get the key and impound it and tell them they can keep their property yeah. and you guys take the car. Yeah, Perfect. All right. Thank, right. thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Sounds like a huge miscommunication, guys. They are like that. They are stupid. It's the stupidest people that I've dealt with. This is the second time they do this you with know, us. We already canceled our reservation here for tomorrow because we were supposed to leave to Florida back tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, they forced us now, to uh, rush I don't know back. even how can I get back. There is no rental cars near us. I guess I don't understand why they would... I mean, you guys are paying good money to rent it. So that's why would they not? Why would they not let you keep the I'm car? I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. The previous rental with them was a Chrysler Pacifica. They requested to they requested to come pick it up. I told right side assistant no one can pick it up for two months on Broadway in New York. Imagine then, they they said leave it there and then, don't even the, think, like leave the keys. We're like we're not going to leave the yeah. keys because it's then, my responsibility. There, a lot of I'm tickets the key, piled in the windshield. The car is there. Come take it. Yeah. Yeah. So, a lot of tickets piled on the windshield. So I told him the car is still here. How after two months since June, you're asking me to drop the car and someone will come pick it up. No one came pick it up. And the bill kept counting. And it was on you. Yes, and it was $7,000. $7,000. $7,000. For $7, so I told him when I get back to Miami, I'm going to address that issue because there's a problem with that contract. Yes. And that was it. Yes. That was it. Yes. And us yesterday, they asked us for an ETA. We told them on the 23rd, we're getting back. Yeah. We had to cut it here short. Right now, I don't know how I'm going to leave because there's no rental cars around us. I know you're doing your job. It's not yours. I'm sorry. And I guess that's just the main, that's really bizarre because, like I said, you guys are paying customers. So I don't know why they would. So we are since years. We are since years with six. And I told her that today. So it's too, it's a shame that we're paying thousands since 2017 for you. Yeah. Since yeah, 2017. Imagine we're with the same rental company. We didn't switch because we're comfortable with yeah. six. And the prices and how they are, but yeah. they just had to. Sorry for that. This in the last contract, and then now it's like if it's on us. Yeah. So yeah, I, I'm so sorry. That like I said, that's just crazy because you guys. I mean, if you guys are paying for it, you, you think you could keep it as long as you were making the payment exactly. for the? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, just common sense. If I'm paying you know, for the service, I think you that, get the service. Yes, yeah. exactly. The thing is that they asked us for an ETA. Yeah, like and she we was specific. Them. The thing is yeah. that we replied them. And we're like, okay, we ETA made that plan for the hotel and canceled the reservation. The rest of it. So why would you do that? Now I don't know how can I rent another car to get back to Florida, and there is no any airport nearby till yeah, Knoxville. Knoxville is the closest one. Yes, McGee Tyson. How can I get to Knoxville with all the luggage and two ten weeks pops? How can I get there? There's, there's a lot of you know, there's, uh, there's a lot of cabs that do that run from here to the Knoxville area. Um, unless you can get these guys on the phone and. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm, no, I you have to have a credit card to rent this stuff, so she has to have a credit card on she file. She has one on file. And 
they will take the full amount in full once it's returned yes, because it's automatically it, yeah. it, it automatically gets charged yeah i don't even have to go to for them to yeah, they charge it automatically it got, yeah anytime i've ever ran anything they're like oh they're, your car's yes, on file so exactly. it's like they, they, or anything they damages that. or anything like they are gonna charge it 100 percent the thing is i don't have my car which i don't have to, to like go I, uh, let me would you be able I'm to wait just I'm going to pull back over there so you guys don't have to walk through your stuff. Okay, all yes. Back. Is that is that a good entrance? Yes, where, where we left the car. Yeah, yes, please. Because that's okay. how we put the car, the stuff in your car. Okay, yeah, I'll just, I'll meet you good so you don't okay. have to. to yeah. Thank you so much. Thank I'm you. sorry, guys. I'm no, sorry. It's, it's not your fault. I'll meet you over there. Thank you. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, never mind. You do get the story. Um, I mean, I don't, I guess you. You get a, an understanding for an initial rental. So your your initial understanding is I'm picking it up on this date at this time and I'm returning it on this date at this time. But I guess I don't understand why you couldn't extend. For some reason they're like, they're not letting these folks extend their their rental agreement. On the phone he said that they were overdue. Yeah. So. But then I, she said that they called and they they wanted an ETA or a date. Mm -hmm. And she gave them a date. I think that was to make them comfortable, so that so they, they didn't run. Yes. So they didn't. Yeah. Run. I don't know, guys. I'm not. I'm not the judge and jury, and I, I'm not. I, I'm decent at reading people for mm -hmm. for lies and pardon me, BS. But uh, sometimes when you get two different, I, I'm glad I'm not in law enforcement and have to make these decisions on the, <laughs> on the fly. So all of my officers out there, you guys are amazing uh, to make these decisions on the fly. But I mean, they seem like they're telling me a legit story, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, the business, it's their property. They want it back. So ultimately they have the right to retrieve their property. And you know, then that's, that's that, that's the end of that story. But uh, I do feel for these these guys because they're here and they're they're stuck and um, you know they're gonna have to figure out a different way back to Miami unless they were going to Canada. Mm, maybe I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. She just went to get the key. Okay, okay perfect. That's fine. But did they say that they were supposed to have it returned on the 16th? Yeah, she said she talked to them. And today's the 18th. So I don't know. Some Five Guys cream soda. What do you know about that? Didn't get to eat. I got to run in and smell the food, and get a drink, and then run back in. Here, do you want this? Yeah. It doesn't make sense. If we are taking the car, we wouldn't tell them where is it. We told them where is it, and when are we returning? So, how can you how can you do such a thing? And we told you that we have two ten weeks off, and we need to get back to Florida. So why would you do that? Yeah, they just gave me GPS on it, so they know exactly where it's at at all times. Uh, well, I told them where is it and when. Yeah. I mean, I told them what's the location, and yeah. that's why when they, when, they, when she tried to intimidate me, yeah. I told her, okay, I understand that you're doing your job, yeah. but here I am telling you, and I'm complying with your request. Yeah. I'm giving you an ETA as you requested, I'm returning on the 20th hertz, and I'll see you there, and I'll address the other, the previous contract. Yeah. So why? Yeah, it sounds like a huge misunderstanding, and I wish you guys could get somebody else on the phone or uh, uh, something like that because um, I, I you know, that's the last thing I want to do is, is strand you guys here. And uh, but all I know is they they tell me that it was uh, uh, it needed recovered, and they give me a GPS coordinates because they've got GPS on the vehicle. So that's yeah, that's all they tell well, me. I understand. Yeah, I understand. like I said, I'm super sorry that they're. I hope we can reach to someone because I don't know what would happen if we yeah. couldn't and we had to take the car. So I hope that we can get to a resolution. Yeah. Maybe they can get it resolved and then they can come and pick it up and they won't have to just Yeah, it. yeah. Maybe you guys can come, come pick it up from our lot instead of uh, them coming. Because also they're going to have to come from Miami to pick it up. So it doesn't benefit them any. I don't get it, man. I, okay, oh, I if you're willing to drive it back yeah, to Miami. Yeah, I said that. That's, that's, that's what I said. <laughs> we re re canceled there. I sent them the cancellation for this hotel reservation starting from tomorrow. Yeah. I told them that I'm, I'm driving in a dawn. So what, yeah. what more do you want me to do? Yeah. Like, I gave them everything. It would be more cost effective for you to drive it home versus versus them to have a carrier come and get I it. I understand but. that. <laughs> and that's what we said to them. Yeah. So, like, they, they, are, they acted like we weren't responsive. We weren't communicating with them. Yeah. And, like, we were communicating since the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, hopefully we got it.
guys have never seen a GoPro strap put on. It's a lot like a brawl. <laughs> now you know. I've got my Wonder Brawl. It's a GoPro for her. Yeah, Kristen. Let's on it. She's got jokes today. <laughs> it's probably just starvation. Uh, yeah, I'm starving dead. I'm delirious. I'm hunger. Delirious jokes. So anyway, guys, if you don't have any idea, it's it's now 10 after 5. I've not eaten a thing today. So I I'm running on a cup of coffee and uh, some red. Yeah, some red. Never mind, guys. I'm good. Got red cream soda. Go take a dip in the pool. It's a little brisk for that. Beautiful day in the mountains, guys. Maybe you can take that all in while we're waiting. Plenty of... Uh, fall colors to be had here today yeah that's exciting news guys um, we got exclusive tickets the sneak peek to Anakista in downtown Gatlinburg so there's we're gonna get first first dibs on um, some very new changes that has come about to uh, the Anakista lineup I'm not sure what all it's gonna involve but uh, it's exciting, and uh, we are very much so looking forward to that. Uh, where did she go? Uh, I think she's right. She's right here. No, 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 I, 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 I'm I sorry for, just yeah, I'm sorry for the situation, guys. I, I really am. I, uh. That's the corporate customer service. They have no idea what's going on. Okay. That's, they're, they're, like, there they're always lack of communication between all departments. Yeah. I, I talk to someone and another person comes popping for me saying something different. Yeah. No one's sticking to the reward. And that's what I said today. Yeah. You told me what to do. So please stick to your word as how I'm going to stick to yeah. mine. Yeah. No, that makes perfect sense. Um, like you cannot tell me to, to make a plan to leave and then come and tell me I need the car right now. Yeah. But you made me plan. Yeah. It's I'll, t I'll tell you probably what will have to happen is if you can get them to to recognize the situation, they're probably going to have to send you another car. He's uh, he's not going to want to release that one. Um, so probably what will happen is, is they're going to... Who is he? The, the, the department for the recovery. Yeah. He's, he's already told me strict orders to yeah. to take the vehicle. So I heard, unless we can reach someone from corporate security. Yeah. If, if they can send somebody to uh, to get you guys into a different vehicle to, to, to fulfill your agreement, that's probably going to be the only... To be honest, I don't think they're going to do that. And that's why I'm hoping that they release you from that right now. On, yeah. On he's, the I, I know that, honestly, yeah. me too, I think it's not going to happen. Yeah. I think it's not going to happen. I think, yeah. Because he's he's already given me strict orders to take that one to impound, so yeah. I, I really I really doubt it. But like I said, uh, the most I could possibly hope for for you guys is they understand what's going on and then they they send you over a car from Knoxville to complete your journey. That would yeah, be the, the thing. Is that they don't have even a branch in Knoxville. Yeah. They, the, the, the closest branch is Nashville International Airport. Yeah. And that's 213 miles away. And I said that to her today. Yeah. Well, maybe they can get you guys a delivery over here. I hope so. And then just save your receipts. Maybe they'll maybe they'll do some sort of reimbursement or... Um, I really uh, hope so. I, I hope for any resolution yeah. at this point. I, yeah. I just hope for anything. I do too, guys, because I don't... Yeah. I, I, I know. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy. But she had. Does she, she has the keys. You have the keys. Yeah. Is, will the wheel, will the wheels turn and lock and all? Get your stuff. I guess you guys got plenty of stuff in here, probably. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad that I met you guys because I've obviously I've got everything. That, we packed. Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm telling. We, uh, we already packed. That is amazing, guys. I'm so glad that I caught you because. That is that is definitely not good. Let me let me lower it down a little bit. That would have been a very bad situation. Uh, to be straight. 
stranded in Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge and naked, that would have been really bad. And it's cold, my friend. I'm betting Miami's not this cold. Yeah. <laughs> you might need all those clothes here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're putting, they're, they're putting her on hold right now. Uh, I'm not sure uh, okay. what's going to happen. <laughs> Drinking all the red cream soda without me. That was a great meal. Yes. Champions. I just want to know what will happen with them. Yeah, gotcha. I'm gonna give you that's that's the car just in case things get worked out. You can you can call me and the car will be at our impound lot. What, what, how how far is it from here? Um, we're, we'll be close. We'll be right over here in, in Pigeon Forge. It's it, it's you'd have to get a cab ride, but you know. Yeah, like. Be, yeah. This is address? Yeah, that's the address and then the phone number there. If you... Like how 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 close? Like how how long? Yeah, I mean I we're probably ten minutes away in a car, but okay. it would I wouldn't walk it. <laughs> but there's plenty of cabs and Ubers and things like that that are in the area. Cabs, Ubers and Lyfts. If they get if they get stuff worked out then uh then by all means, I mean just give me a call or have them give me a call for the release. Whatever uh however you need to do it on that part of it, but uh all right, can you just give me two minutes? Just a yeah. couple of minutes. Yeah, I'll try. I just yeah. want to know how, how the call works. Yeah, yeah, that's sure. Right. No, that's understandable. I guess not good. It, <laughs> by the looks of it, it doesn't yes. seem like it, no. So she said that she spoke to the head office, but she's waiting for the response, so it's going to take some time. She took my phone number. I guess, okay. I guess okay. Yeah. I get I gave him the card. This is the address where the vehicle's going for impound and that's my phone number. If right. by some reason they get things worked out, yeah. call me and then you guys can come. But I'll, I'll just need her to call me for the release. Yes, of course. Of but course. Uh, but once we get to that point, at least you guys can come and pick it up yeah. or I might be able to bring it back over to you. Whatever we need to do there. But uh, really I will definitely work with you that. any way that I can, guys. Thank and I'm really so sorry. That. And that, you, that's your phone number? That's my phone number, yes. Right. Yeah, that's the phone number and that's the address. Your good name? Uh, Jeff. Jeff. Okay. Jeff. And, and uh, I'm so sorry, but like I said, if you get things worked out, by all means, I'll either try to get yeah, it back I'll, over I'll here to you or uh, or pick it up from there. You but you do have, you've got the keys? I'll just need the keys. It's, it's in the car. You check there's nothing down up the drawers. You're welcome to look again, ma'am, just to make yeah. sure, just to double check. It's a double because I told him, I said, I'm so glad I caught you because I've, you've got everything here. Yes. I didn't realize. <laughs> that's it. We, we packed the, the stuff thinking, you know, that's I know. it. So it's crazy. Yeah, it's one thing to be uh, without the vehicle, but then a whole other thing. I've got we everything got that you own. <laughs> I know. I told him it's too, it's too cold to be in Pigeon Forge without clothes. Coats and jackets are all the car. Thank you, sir. Yeah, just as soon as you guys hear something, feel free to give me a call. We're, we're 24 hours on our service, okay, so okay. anytime that you, you get the okay from them, just have them call me and, and I'll try my very best to make sure you get the car back. Thank you, thank you so and, much. And uh, yeah, sorry for the for the crazy stuff, guys, but just let me know, okay? <laughs> thank you. What a crazy situation. Yeah. Okay, guys, I feel like I need to do a little bit of a follow-up to our repossession for that BMW. So we got to looking at the paperwork after the after the uh, rental company sent us over some more information about what was going on and what we need to do to uh, proceed forward. Come to find out, they have had that they rented this thing on September the 12th? 25th. 25th, I'm sorry. September the 25th. So... And it was a seven-day rental. Yeah, a seven-day rental and they've had it since September the 25th. This is October 18th. October the 18th. So yeah, they've... <laughs> They're 16 days over. That's quite a bit. So you can understand why this company was so freaked out about their car and getting it back. So yeah, a seven day rental and they've had it 16, day, 16 days past. So I just thought I would throw that out there for you guys. Uh, I know we'd 
probably get some uh, some questions and, and things like that on on this video so a little more about what we know we thought that we would share interesting comment down below guys we love hearing from you we're off to uh, Anakista to have some of that fun we were talking about earlier so stick around